Now I asked him, why are you asking me these questions? He said, it's because uh, Angel, Angel appears to be, he, Angel is diabetic. She was, she was small. Yeah. So I used to tell her, let's go. Good evening and praise the name of the Lord. It's that time again when we bring to you the Gorgeous Woman Show. And as always, uh, we are delighted at CTN TV to host Gorgeous Women Inspire Many because that is the reason why we come. Many stories have been shared here. Many have inspired you. Many lives have been changed. And I believe it will be the same today as we talk with my guest today called Jane Kibe. She has a story of supernatural healing, a journey of pain, but lived well because God has been with her. So stay put and share with your friends and family as we share with this guest of mine, Karibu Jen. Asante Reverend. Yeah, yeah. So tell us more about uh, who is Jen. Uh, my name is Jen Kibe. Mm -hmm. I come from uh, Muranga County, mm -hmm. but residing uh, at a place called Muihoko. Mm -hmm. It's in Gidurai. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm also born again. Mm -hmm. I love Jesus dearly. It's my Lord and Savior. Amen. I've been birthed in His Spirit. Amen. I love God so much, by the way. Yes, so yeah. much. And that's the reason why I'm here. Yes. In order to testify of His goodness. Amen. Yes. So uh, you come from Muranga County. Are your parents alive? Yes, one of my parents is alive, mm -hmm. my mom, mm -hmm. but uh, my father is late. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you're a witch born. How many siblings? I, I'm do you the have? last born in my family. The last born. The last born. And uh, how? Many? And I also stay with my dear mom. Oh, you stay with yes, her. Yes, I'm the one who takes care of her. How old is she? She's 89. What a yeah. blessing! Uh, yes. So you are that nice. last born that was supposed to be taking the shoes from under the bed. Exactly. How how is it taking care of your old mom? Ah uh, well. Mm. It's great. Yes. And I thank God every day seeing mm -hmm. her yes. alive. Mm -hmm. It's not an ordinary thing. Yes. It's a blessing. Yes, it is. And I continue, I keep on praying for her mm -hmm. to live many, many more years. Amen. And my mom, although she's old, yeah. she's okay. She's okay. She's she can uh, of sound mind. Yes. And she, in fact, she does many, th or she can do anything or, or, or for, for herself, ah, many things. What a blessing. Yeah, Almost she's 90. a blessing to me, yes. Wow, what mm. a blessing. Mm. So do you have You brother? cannot even confuse her. She's, uh, she's <laughs> okay. She's okay, she's okay, <laughs> Kabisa. And wow. uh, I take that, I don't take it uh, for granted. Is she a born again believer? She is. Ah. I'm actually the one who led her to salvation. Amen. Yes, years back. Okay, do you have siblings? Well, now being the last born, mm -hmm. others now married, mm -hmm. uh, they are of age. Okay. Yeah. So you have brothers, sisters, how many? Uh, five, six, five, four sisters now besides me. Yeah? Mm -hmm. One when, uh, is deceased, mm -hmm. my, our first born. Mm -hmm. And uh, the others are there. Okay. Yes, my four sisters. Okay. I also have uh, two brothers. Mm -hmm who reside at Moranga, now okay. my, where, where, my, our birthplace. Also, you are like a family of seven children. Yes. Ah, we, nice. Originally, we were seven, now we are six because of the one who went oh, to be with the Lord. Oh, sorry for yes, that. Yes. And, uh, do you have any children? Yes, mm -hmm. I have two children, mm -hmm. uh, a boy and a girl. Mm -hmm. Yes. And married? One, uh, my son, mm -hmm. My son uh, is a graduate. Mm -hmm. The other one now, Angel, is in class six. 
Wow. Yes. There's mm. such a, a big there, gap. <laughs> there, there is God in heaven. You don't look like yes. you have, but he's not married yet. The, the, my firstborn. Son, yeah. My firstborn is not, I think he's a bit uh, late. I'm a <laughs> <laughs> He's taking like his he, time. He's taking his time. Yeah. I wouldn't like to rush him or anything. Yeah. I, I believe he knows what he's doing and he's also very bright. Yeah. I have faith in him and I love him so much. Also. Amen. Yes. Wow, what yes. a blessing. How has yes. it been like having that gap? Do they feel like they are related or the brother feels like almost plays the role of almost a very big brother? <laughs> a father. Or a father, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember actually when I was expectant because yeah. he was in secondary school. Mm -hmm. Uh, he used to make fun of, uh, of now there, me, mm -hmm. because we were so free as he was mm -hmm. growing up. Mm -hmm. He was in Sarehe Boys. Okay. Ah, yeah. Yes, and he's, he's, he's quite kids. bright. I'm very proud of him, my, my boy. Uh, yeah. Well, I hope he will not, when he hears me calling him a boy. Yeah. yeah maybe. <laughs> no, he's <laughs> a, his, his mom's boy. His mom's boy, movie. yeah. I love uh, him so much. Yeah. Uh, he has been, uh, he has been very good mm -hmm. well when growing up at school mm -hmm. he did not repeat anywhere yeah he just uh, he was he was so god blessed him with that intelligence amen and uh what did you ask me uh the relationship between the the the, the young girl well yeah the, now mm -hmm. he used to make fun mm -hmm. at uh, now mom uh this uh, uh this child it will be like, I will be like a father to him, yeah, because of the gap. Yeah? <laughs> and, and, and they are very close, by the way. What a nice he loves the, 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 girl, the sister. Yeah. He loves her so much. Wow. Yes. Our viewer, that's just uh, an introduction of our guest, Jane Kibbe. We are going to hear more about her journey, especially with her daughter, Angel Wanjiko, that has been through a chronic disease that God supernaturally healed her. See you after the break. So welcome back our viewer, as I had earlier indicated, my guest is Jane Kibe and has a daughter called Angel Wanjiko and a son. And um, her life is basically rotating around the supernatural intervention of God over her daughter's health that was healed of diabetes. Amen. Amen. Yeah, so tell us more about the story of uh, Angel Wanjiko. Uh, it was the year 2014. Mm -hmm. uh, Angel mm -hmm. was five years by then. Mm -hmm. And uh, July, in, on July of, mm -hmm. that, of that year now, 2014, mm -hmm. uh, it was uh, Ramadan for Muslims. Mm -hmm. July, the month of July. Mm -hmm. And I, being a staunch Christian and a lover of my Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. I thought about it. These people, they are so devoted to, to their God. And uh, why don't I also take a fast in this month mm -hmm. just to be before God, eh? mm -hmm. to go before God, to worship, not necessarily because of anything. I was not praying for anything particular, mm -hmm. but I decided I would, uh, I would also do a fast in that month of July uh, together with the Muslims. Mm -hmm. So I fasted the whole month. At the end of the month now in August is when now, before the, before the, the month of August, eh, uh, July, in July, well, towards the, now July is when now uh, my baby, mm -hmm. my girl, got an infection mm -hmm. of uh, tonsils. Yeah. I took him to the hospital mm -hmm. and... Uh, they said that he had, she had to be admitted, mm -hmm. that uh, she, had been she, she was dehydrated. Mm -hmm. So I was ad we were admitted at uh, St. Francis mm -hmm. Hospital. It is at Kasarani. Mm -hmm. We were admitted in that month of, uh, now in August. Mm -hmm. Well, we were there. Well, I, didn't, I, did not, I, I knew now this one is not a, is not a, a very complicated uh, sickness. Mm -hmm that after antibiotics, mm -hmm. he would be out. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was there. Mm -hmm. I used to go to Kasarani Hospital. During the time when I was fasting, mm -hmm. I used to go there to pray for children okay. because I have this uh, passion for, for children. Mm -hmm. uh, so I found myself there now, in that ward where I used to go to pray mm -hmm. to those, you know, mm -hmm. the, the, 
the guardians of the children. You see now children mostly they, they, they are taken you, you 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 stay with your child when you are admitted in hospital. Yeah. And I used to go there to encourage the, 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 the those guardians to pray with them and I found myself there. So when I found myself there, I call, now I would uh, we would call I would call them, uh, we would call them together and we would pray mm -hmm. with them. You know, continue now encouraging them. And now that mm -hmm. I was in the ward mm -hmm. Uh, you know, we used to do it maybe in the, at night, eh? at mm -hmm. night, about uh, after the doctors now go around. Mm -hmm. uh, now, uh, in that hospital, we stayed there in the, uh, about uh, fourth or fifth day in our uh, 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 stay there in that hospital. Now, Ejo was being, was uh, receiving now treatment, but I remember that after four days now the doctor came and told me, and I started asking me questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is there anyone in your family who is diabetic? Mm -hmm. You know, such like questions. And I didn't know what is, where it was heading to. So I told the doctor, yeah, I told, uh, you know, the, according to the questions now he was asking me. Now I asked him, why are you asking me these questions? He said, it's because uh, Angel, Angel appears to be, Angel is diabetic. Yeah, they didn't, want, they didn't want to break the news to me, but they had even realized Im immediately she was admitted, they had taken blood test. You know, that uh, 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 the, 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 the way, the way they, the sugar. the Ara eh? Arabes Arabes, test, yeah. that one. Mm -hmm. And it was up, it was 19, and they did not want to tell me. So... The doctor told me that they were doing it, you know, secretly without telling me, and they thought that the sugars would come down. Eh? But now, we, they, if I could quote him, he said, we have established that she's diabetic. No matter how we try, that is the way it is. And I did not believe it. I was shocked. Actually, I felt weak completely. Then now, and I could not even take in, take it in uh, uh, immediately. I get you. Yeah. So he, the doctor said we are going to take. Uh, let's see how it. But we are going to take another test today and tomorrow. Then we shall we shall uh, 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 have a, a full conclusion. So now they took the test. The sugar was raging there between uh, 11 and 15. So they said, being a child, uh, those sugar, the sugar levels are very high. And they told me now we are going to, to discharge you, but we are going to tell you where to go. You'll be taking a, you'll have to go, uh, I don't know, they sent me somewhere for some more tests. And that I should be taking now Ejo to get an insulin injection. That she should be now getting the insulin every day. And that one, it was mind blowing. I, Had you noticed any signs? No. Of her sickness, or it was just the tonsillitis. That is the only thing that there was. And uh, although uh, the thing which to, uh, 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 I took her there purposely for that, I didn't even know where she was sick from, yeah, because so she, she was, was a normal child even before then. She was okay, but now when I took her there, she could not eat. She was not eating. Uh, she was vomiting. Uh, diarrhea ring and all, eh? and that is why now they told me she was dehydrated. Actually, the reason for admission was because of dehydration. So the, now the immediately we reached there, they they did the the nini ile akwe kuamaji. So I thought uh, now when they brought this thing again of diabetes, I didn't. It was out of the moon, and I, I, I you know I could not yeah, comprehend it. Where are we from? How? Yeah. Five years. Mm -hmm. <sighs> When the doctor went, now you see now they have already established, they have concluded that now she's diabetic, I'm, go, I'm being discharged, I have to go and uh, prepare now for those uh, uh, insulin, pro, uh, th that whatever injection. I remember now when the doctor went and I was there. And since now you see uh, the, the, the way the beds are rich in the world, eh, there the are many beds. Uh, and the, the, now we had, uh, we, we were, I was well conversant with the, uh, the, the people around yeah. me because mm -hmm. we were with them and we used to pray together. I used to encourage them, you know, being now the one there who was uh, the woman of God. Yeah. 
No. Then I, 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 now I could not even have the guts to break the news to them at what the doctor has said. It seemed like I'm the one who is encouraging them. Now, you know, I saw it like a dead sentence upon okay. my daughter. Mm -hmm. I could not believe it. So I was there, quiet, looking at my daughter, wondering, asking God, how, how, what? And I remember I went to, uh, now I'm there, I've not been discharged, I'm just there. I went outside, there was some glass somewhere there. I laid it down there. Of course, I was crying a lot. And I was lying down on the grass. Then I, I said, now, does it mean now, even though we are here, my daughter's life is going to be cut short? And uh, I was there. Then I thought, it's like, you know, the way you can feel discouraged and there's no hope. Then I remembered, who am I? What about God? It was like, yes, it is me who is... Uh, 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 saying that, but it's the, uh, wow. I'm sorry. It's okay. Every time I tell this story, mm. I get overwhelmed. I know. At what God can do. Amen. It's like a voice I heard. What about God? Mm -hmm. And I, I all, then I, I got and kind of, I knew, why have I forgotten God? What about God? That is the voice I will never forget. What mm -hmm. about God? Mm -hmm. Then I, I continued. Now I started now. I, mm -hmm. I remembered. Mm -hmm. Hey, I am, I am a woman of God and there is God. Mm -hmm. There is a God in heaven whom I can call upon. Mm -hmm. And uh, I decided my daughter is not going to die. Mm -hmm. I, I have God. I have been with him. I had even fasted for no reason at all for him because of the love I have for him. So I will persist. I will chase him. I will talk to him. I will go to him. And uh, I dis I, uh, from then on, I started now uh, praying. I started praying, praying, and uh, we, were we were discharged. Mm -hmm. When we were discharged, I went home. I remember they was carrying my, my daughter and uh, all those things which one is given there, the, the pills and, you know, karai and those things. And along the way, I was just there. I still remember the way I went and the way I reached home and I did not want to tell anybody in my family apart from my mom whom I told. And her, by that time she was up country and she told me, uh, in Kikuyu, and wow. I felt like that is not even any. I said, I'm not going to tell anybody. I'm going to God. I, de I made a declaration that if I know God, and if he knows me, and if I'm walking in his ways, then it's me and him. Where I used to go when I was in, uh, when I was in fasting, mm -hmm. it is somewhere, it is like a wilderness, together kind of. I went back there. There people used to go to pray. It's a place which was just there, left like that. I call it a wilderness, actually. That is where I now started to go. I would go there with my daughter. Every day, I would go with her there. Would she ask you why you're going there? Who, my daughter? Yeah. She, was, she was small. Yeah. So I used to tell her, let's go. And we went, and we used to go. There's a place, there's a certain bush, a tree, where we used to go. That was like our spot. So I started going there. I would pray. I would pray. And on a certain day, like I went like about maybe four days. And then... So let me cut you short. Is yes. The, during this time, did you go where you were told? Where? Was the baby on the I said I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. I believe in God. Yes. I decided that my God, I know who my God is. Yes. He's going to take care of this. Mm -hmm. I decided I would not take my daughter for insulin mm -hmm. or to any place where I had been told to go. I decided it's, it's, God will do it. I had faith. Mm -hmm. So I went to the, I used to go to that bush place and I would, uh, my daughter was still, had not recovered of course. 
uh, she was weak, very thin, she could not eat anything. So I would lie her down there, I would, uh, uh, in, the, in that place, our spot where we used to go to pray. And uh, in the month of August, it's sunny, it's hot. Eh? So I would not even mind the sun. Uh, I used to lay her there, then I would pray, I would pray, I would call on God. I remember this, uh, this one, uh, I remembered her guy, and I told God, the same way, during the time, her guy was in, in wilderness, mm -hmm. and her son was lying there, mm -hmm. and the son almost died, mm -hmm. and her guy called upon you because of, your, of, of, of her child. In the same way, I'm calling upon you because of Rachel. Have mercy upon me, O oh God. And it was, it was hot. The sun was heating on her. So I, I called upon God. That place had even been, uh, there was a path I had made there, pacing up and down, calling upon God, looking up. Then I decided now I'm going to make uh, some vows with God. I was there. I told God, uh, this Goliath, oh God, is too big for me. I cannot face him. Mm. My God, I'm desperate for you. Take me and my daughter. Take us within yourself, inside of you. Be the one to face this Goliath on my behalf because I can't. And because the prayer was so intense, I saw God standing in heaven. Mm. That day is the day, I believe, when I, re I really, I really uh, touched the heart of God. It is the way I know. I, I felt it because I made even some promises to God. I made, some, I made vows. I told God, my God, if you heal my daughter, I will come back. This tree here is a witness that Whatever I say here, I will do. I told, I, I was talking to trees there. I told God, this tree shall be a witness of, of the things that we shall say here. That I will come back here. I will give a testimony. I will come back here to, to, to give thanks to you. The same spot where I have been praying from. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then I told, then I, I told God, my God, I will also give thanksgiving in the, uh, Thanksgiving offering in my church, and I mentioned the amount. I told God, God, I will also, uh, uh, I will buy, uh, uh, no, I will, uh, we shall be playing that organ of piano. I told God, I will be playing uh, 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 piano as a, mem as, a, as a reminder of what you have done for us. And uh, I also told God, the place where, sh where I shall go, Ed, they give me a good uh, report, a positive report that my daughter is healed. I will kneel there and I will worship you. I made promises to God. There were four of them. Mm -hmm. Amen. And That's I all that thought. Yeah. Our viewer, um, what a testimony of faith and believing in God. Uh, we'll hear the rest of the story after the break. So welcome back, our viewer. It's the Gorgeous Woman Show live on CTN TV. And as always, we are delighted to have a guest that has an exceptional story, a testimony of the healing power of God. No matter what you're facing, don't give up hope. There is a God who answers prayer. Okay, Jean. So you promised God four things. Yes. Okay, tell us from there. Uh, I promised God that I would, I would uh, give a Thanksgiving offering mm -hmm. in my church, and I would testify in the same church, and that we would play piano with my daughter as a memorial, as a reminder of the of that uh, of what God has done. <coughs> and as I said that I. Uh, uh, and I also said that I would, uh, we would go back to that same, uh, under that tree, to give thanks to God there. And I would also kneel down where I receive the good news that my daughter is healed and worship God. So, uh, 
in that, and I asked God, because I, the, pre, the presence of God was so much that day, I remember. It's like, it was not me praying. I was praying from, yani face to face with God. It's like I was already in heaven talking that to him. That was on the fourth day. Of uh, which? Of prayer. I'm, uh, now, I'm still in that day of the wilderness. Now, the time when I was making the vows. Okay. During that day. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember I told God that, my God, uh, as for me, I have, it's, these things I have promised to you, they are as good as done. Me, I know on my part I will do it. What about you? Wow. I told God that, and that is the time when I was seeing him, now studying, you know, I was there talking to him. How did it look like to what? see God standing? Wait, I will get there. Okay. I will get there. <laughs> What can I say? It is the way you are so deep. You have gone so deep and you feel the presence of God. Eh? Mm -hmm. And you see ev what is everything which is happening. I was praying deeply in the spirit. Mm -hmm. I, was not, uh, it, I was not myself. Mm -hmm. So uh, we went home. And uh, I remember now uh, on another certain day, this time I've, I've withheld, I've not, I've not still gone anywhere where the doctor now said that I should go to. Neither uh, have you shared with anyone? This is me and only. my daughter and my, and my God. Amen. I've not even told anybody, o on, only my mom. Mm -hmm. Then I, I remember now at one time, my daughter was lying there. She was not eating. And uh, I looked at her. And uh, that, uh, that uh, feeling came back, wondering, now here she is. Um, uh, children are going back to school, they will open. Now what is even the use of her going to school? Maybe she will not even reach class eight. And I started, and I started to cry. It was uh, in the evening. And uh, that thing, by the way, had really torn me, Kabisa. I was so desperate. I told God, God, tonight I will not sleep. I will lie down here crying to you. My tears will flow on this pillow. I will not wipe them. And uh, I told God, just look, may you uh, 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 look upon me as I cry the whole night. Wow. And I was hoping. And I know I'm here, but I also would like to thank them because of those songs they used to pray throughout the night. Wow. They encouraged me so much. And it helped me a lot to get in touch with God that night. I, I had, uh, so there was that, uh, that, that radio playing on. My daughter was lying on one bed and I was on, the, on, on, on another bed. And I, uh, in the night, I cried. And I remember there was, before I, even, uh, before I went to bed, there was a small axe in the house. And I had said, Oh God, uh, I'm so desperate for you to hear me and for you to act upon this issue of angel. I'm not, I'm not strong enough to handle this. And I told God, uh, if I would cut this finger, this finger here, the, this small finger here. I will slice it off using this axe, let the blood flow, so that God, you will see how desperate I need you to help me. And at that, uh, that instance, now is when I, I heard like a voice. What about, what about my blood? And, uh, and uh, it was such an experience in that night. I, I, it's, uh, I, Jesus, it's like Jesus was right there. It is that same night. Uh, so I said, then if you are here, Jesus, and because of this blood of yours which was shed, why don't you, because I feel that you are here, would you then uh, 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 do a transfusion of your blood to my daughter? Why was it shed? The blood, the way I've read and the way I believe, it was shed so that we can receive healing. Heal my daughter, oh, oh Jesus. I felt the presence of Jesus. It was so much. It was like I could even touch him like this. Wow. 
And uh, this experience, I was taken to Calvary. It's like I was there when the, the whole thing was happening. When Jesus was being uh, 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 beaten up, when he was being uh, done all manner of things, and I saw the, even the blood now uh, coming out of him and, 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 and touching the ground. It was like I was there personally. Mm -hmm. It is an experience which I cannot even explain to anybody. Mm -hmm. I went to cover, I saw everything which was being done that day. I told Jesus, if all this thing is happening to you, do it for my daughter. Do it for her. Do it for her so that the blood is not in vain. It was shed. Let this blood of yours. I believe in you. I also believe in this blood. It was powerful. Let it not go to waste. Put it in my daughter so that when she's healed, I will come back to glorify your name. Wow. Ed, I was told to take a, 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 a pen and uh, to write. It was at night. It was around uh, maybe 3 a.m. I took a, a, a pen. I, I started writing, writing. Now I'm being told to write about the things I shall say when I go to testify. Wow. Imagine. I'm being told right now the things you are going to say when you're in front of the church. I started writing. God was saying, our children, uh, they have been neglected so much by the parents. Tell them to take care of the children. Let them start taking care of the children, teaching them godly ways. As early as even two years. And then I was, I, I was writing. Uh, learn with the, with the Muslims. They teach their children about their God at a very early age. They even teach them how to tie those buibuis. They teach them to go to madrasas and all that. Christians, let them not neglect their children. Mm -hmm. And children just playing uh, outside there in church, where, where is, now adults are inside there. That the children, the same way we take the children to uh, uh, baby, uh, uh, start, you know, the daycare, the, yeah. the school at a very early age. The, in the same way, teach them about God, to know their God when they are still very young at that tender age. And then they will not depart from their God. And uh, I was writing, I was writing, and, uh, and, and you, it, it was, and, and Jesus was saying that. When I go now to testify, so many people will receive healing. And I wrote and I wrote. Then I was told, you take that child. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I was told to take my child. We should not do anything. I was told, don't do anything. Don't even do anything. It was in a rush. It was in a rush. God told me to take her and not to take anything, not even to bathe. Go. Take her now for tests. And I went. And when I went, the doctor, after test, he asked me, who said that this child is diabetic? This child is more than normal. Wow. And I knelt down and I asked for permission from the doctor. I knelt down and I worshipped my God. And I, I knew he had done it. Wow. He did it so in a, in a powerful way. Amen. That was after how many days? Uh... uh uh, it, it took like a week, by the way. Like a week. A week. The, during the, you know, the, there was these days when I was going to pray in the, that place, wilderness. There's these are times when I, now I'm, I was praying from home. Let's say like a week. Oh. It took like a week. That's how close my God is to my life, and I, I give him all the glory. So I, all the things, I, we went home. We did not even go home direct. We went to the tree, at the dirty tree. At, the, at where we used to pray from, I, I told so my, the doctor, I told is it my the girl, same doctor who tested the child or a different one? No, no, no. It was a different doctor. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, I went. And I he, believed it completely. And he did not understand your story, so he was Who? the doctor, of course. I told him, I, I, I just asked him for permission. I told, I, I told him, the, I told him briefly the, mm, the, story. the, back, the background, the story a bit. I, mm. I asked him, is it okay if I kneel here and, and, and pray? And he, he did not refuse. He also was born again.